Hello, I just thought I'd make a video to show you how far I've gotten with the board. I haven't got as far as I would like, I haven't had as much time as I would like, but I have had, added a load game uh, function. So here we are in the main menu. Uh, if I put load board. Each square on the board is a save game slot. If the lead is not flashing, that means there's a game in that slot or in that square. Each slot has got a, if you look on the second line, there's five letters of the player's name, whether they're playing white or black, the level and the date of the game. So if I push vertical, I move vertically up the board. As you can see that it's flashing, that means there's no game in it. I come down to the, that slot which has got a game in it and I will select that. Now do I, if you want to clear the board, you can clear the board and then put all the pieces back on. I thought I'd bit, save a bit of time. I know that this, these are in the right position, but I've taken a few pieces off. So I'm going to put no. I clear the board. So now we're just in the normal game menu. So I'll just make it any sort of move. Uh, castle. You want to do one. Castle King side. Remove piece H1. Put white work F1. My move is seven to six. No remove. So I'll just play any move, I think. F three to D five. My move H seven to H six. Now, when you push quick game, quick game, press black button again to quick game. So I'll push that again. Quick game. And now I can either go to the main menu or I can save the game. So I'm going to save the game. That is the first available free slot. So I'm going to select that. Here's where you put your name in. You can go uh, along each letter. You can put it up to 20 letters in. You can see the cursor's moving along and it's now under the B. You can uh, up and down is just to move the letter up or down. So that's correct. So I'm going to push end and there's the game save. And that's about where I've got to. I'll put the updated files, a link for the updated files in the description below, a wiring diagram and a uh, ISO image for the Raspberry Pi in case anyone would like to 
make the chessboard for themselves. I'm going to do a setup position next. If you would like to see more videos on the chessboard, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.